Here we are. And everyone's leaving. I am heading into Islands of Adventure first. Both of the parks close at seven o'clock tonight because it's not a horror night's night. Now, whether that will make it less crowded or more crowded, I don't know. I've always been jealous that their ticket scanners can sit down when they want to. They're living my dream. I think it's almost exactly a year ago that Alexi and I came to Islands of Adventure. We got my season pass and it's almost time that my pass is going to expire. I have about half of a month left, which is, it's not bittersweet, it's just bitter <laughs> because I don't think I'm probably ever coming back here. I might like here and there, but never with an annual pass again. I, I love it here, but not as much as the Disney parks. I don't go on as many rides, but I've really enjoyed my season pass and I've definitely gotten my money's worth over the top. I've been here so many times. a lot of filming here at Universal no matter how many times I come I just haven't filmed firstly you can't really film on the rides which is like it's fine to film a park day without the rides but it's not it's not wanted you know and whenever I come here I'm mostly just walking around and looking at everything enjoying the atmosphere I still haven't been on Mummy. I need to get on Hagrid's again. I haven't been on Hagrid's since 2018, so I haven't been on with my season pass. Um, I need to go on E.T. again. I haven't been on, on that one since 2018. There are a lot of things that I haven't done here, but the one thing that I have done is enjoy the atmosphere. I just love theme parks, and I sound dorky saying that, but it's just so fun being in like a new environment, walking around, I'll come here to exercise. It's like, it can't get better than that. Just to go on a walk in a theme park, love it. I will never forget when my friends came to visit me in December, we came to Universal and we actually met the Spider-Man in this building here. And it was a life-changing and also traumatizing experience, let me just say. I will say though, the Spider-Man ride is one of the best here in Universal or Islands of Adventure. I think one of the biggest differences for me between Universal and Disney is the live entertainment. None of the shows here or any type of entertainment are even comparable to Disney in my opinion. And that's why I think I prefer Disney more because I'm more of a leisure theme park goer. And I understand that the rides here are much more thrilling and you can make an argument for that. I've also heard someone make an argument that Universal is better because Universal, you feel like you're in the movie and Disney, they show you how they make the movie. So it's a difference between here we are making the movie, but we're going to submerge you into the movie here at Universal. And here is actually a prime example of that where Universal makes you feel like you are a part of the comic strip. Although it is very cool, I do think it feels a little outdated as well. Like one of the newest rides that they came out with is themed to Popeye and Pluto, which like, I understand that Popeye is Popeye. Everybody's gonna know who Popeye is, but the kids aren't gonna know who Popeye is. I barely know who Popeye is. The log flume is actually under construction again. It was under construction all last winter and now it's closed again. In my opinion, Universal doesn't have the greatest food selection, but I will recommend Thunder Falls. I've been here a few times. I will never forget the feeling of near death that I felt riding Velocicoaster. It feels like you're gonna plummet to your death. And Alexia was laughing at me the whole time, which was very upsetting, actually. Even though I'm not quite Harry Potter's biggest fan, I think that this is one of the coolest sights in all of Orlando. It's just so cool. 
I know that there's probably a forced perspective involved, but it doesn't look like it. Nothing like the Beast Castle. There is always a huge traffic jam around Hagrid's. It says 95 minutes right now. They do have single rider, but I remember when I went on that ride for the first time, it was no doubt the best roller coaster that I've ever been on. It's amazing. I made a mistake. I didn't go on Hagrid's in 2018. I don't even think it was open in 2018. I went in 2020. I forgot that me and my friends took a trip out here in 2020 and it was crazy. The park was empty and it I've never seen it like that again. No one ever will. This attraction just closed recently. It was like a walk-through water attraction. Not like Moana. <laughs> I think it was themed to Poseidon. It was actually really cool. I enjoyed it, but it's definitely not the like sit down, relax. It's an hour of walking and going through water. It's pretty cool. Or it was pretty cool. Me and my friends from Magic Kingdom, we always had an inside joke. We came and ate at this restaurant one time. They have a banner outside that says, awarded the world's best theme park restaurant by Theme Park Insider. First of all, who is Theme Park Insider? When did they name it the best theme park restaurant? And why this? I got sushi though, and it was good. I love Seuss Landing. And during Christmas time, they have an amazing How the Grinch Stole Christmas show. That's probably my favorite show that they offer here at Universal. I really like it. I actually bought this shirt last time I was here to commemorate my time as an annual pass holder. I would feel like a fraud if I bought anything Harry Potter or Jurassic Park or E.T. Seuss is the only thing that I can accept as myself from Universal, which is sad to say. Cat in the Hat says five minutes, and I might have to do it for the culture. There was one time I waited this entire room, but now it's a walk-on. And I call them thing one and thing two. They are things. Oh, so take a Jump scare. That ride is horror. I miss when they used to have performers here at City Walk. They would have them on the stage over there. You would sit on like the steps and it was awesome. But I don't think they do it anymore. Or at least I haven't seen it since every single time that I've been here. They're playing Olivia Rodrigo, so everything is right in the world. The globe isn't spinning right now, which is a little weird. But I guess it's good for pictures if it's in the right spot, you know? They have a TV poster here. I've never heard of this show, but Johnny Bananas and Johnny Fairplay are on it, who are two of the icons of the TV world. I wonder what it is. It looks good. I don't know who anybody else is. Don't come for me for that. One of them may have been the girl from The Bachelor who had a nanny. Is her name Corinne? Or am I just making that up? Time for studios. I thought that the entrance was closed, but it's actually over here. This is their newest ride, Minion Blast. And I've heard that it's like a shooting game, but you're on a conveyor belt, so you're standing. It's intriguing. I think I'm actually gonna do it. It only says 10 minutes. That was fun. It was what I was expecting, but also not what I was expecting at the same time. It's not like a little handheld gun, like your other shooting games. It's literally a giant gun that you have to hold with both hands. It's like the biggest Nerf gun that you can think of. Um, you're very close to the people next to you, so I accidentally hit the person next to me. Um, but there are screens on both sides, and you're not exactly sure what you're aiming for. So if I went on again, I would definitely have to do some research <laughs> to get the best score, because I don't think I did it very well. The other day I was here, I watched the Blues Brothers show for the first time. Is it wrong that the Blues Brothers reminds me of Drake and Josh? That's all that I can think of in my head. Along with Dr. Seuss, Jaws is another one that I can get behind. I think a lot of the reason that I don't go on all of these Universal rides is that so many of them need a locker. And when I'm by myself, I don't want to put my stuff away in a locker because then I'm going to stand in line and what, twiddle my thumbs? I don't want to do that. so. I just prefer to keep my stuff and walk around than wait in a 30 to 40 minute line and contemplate my life choices. I wish that I could bring back the Jaws ride just to experience that. A lot of people, including myself, can't find Diagon Alley their first time here. And I was one of those people. It's hard to find, even with a map. As soon as it turns from Jaws to Harry Potter, 
it is either in this red building or the gray building no matter how gross this looks i want to go to england so bad my dream Diagon Alley is so cool at night, but it's always so crowded in here. I always walk in and walk right out, but that's pretty cool. Fun fact, if you knock on the second door here, the middle one on the left, ooh, that guy appears. I guess even if you don't knock, he'll come out. The sky in Florida the past two days has been super hazy. People are saying that it's the fires in Canada. The only memory that I have from this ride is from senior trip in 2018. I remember there's like an elevator involved and then someone is like standing on the other side of the elevator and he scared me so bad. No matter how scary Velocicoaster is, the Simpsons ride will always be scarier. Despite there being a Ghirardelli sign off in the distance there, there is no Ghirardelli here. Universal sells Haagen-Dazs, which is still good, but no Ghirardelli. Okras are like onions. I was going to go on ET, but it says 30 minutes. Today just isn't the day. I actually watched the Penguins movie at work for the first time. We have a movie night on Friday nights and Penguins was one of them. It was cute. I liked it. I've always really liked this building here. I think this would be like the dream house. Besides the house on living with the land, this would be number two. I tried the smoked brisket crepe from here one day. Definitely one of the better food options here at Universal. It was pretty good, although pricey, $12, but it was enough to fill me up for lunch. I like this shirt. If it really was a happy Halloween and the bird didn't have an eyeball in its mouth and maybe the rat was friendly. I like this horror makeup show as well. This is one of those ones that is sit down, you're in a theater and it goes through like movie magic of how they make things happen for gory scenes in movies. My sister made me watch Child's Play when I was a child and I think it permanently scarred me. My siblings also made me watch Saw 3 and what else? Goosebumps, oh my gosh. The Goosebumps one, the Night of the Living Dummy, scarred. The one where she gets a pumpkin on her head, scarred. The one where they have bugs in their neck, scarred. I think my siblings have grown or have made me grow to fear everything that is scary in the world. In other news, I watched the Born Stuntacular show for the first time one of my last trips that I was here, and I actually really enjoyed it. Now there are like so many warnings before you go into the show. It's like, if you get dizzy, motion sick, bright flashing lights, and I'm like, what is this? Cause I thought it was a show and not like a moving thing. And so I asked someone and she's like, yeah, it is a show, but the, the stage moves. So behind the stage, there's like a giant screen for the whole stage and that will like move and so some of the show is like real people, real actors, and some of the show is happening on the screen, so it's a bit trippy, but I really liked it. It was cool. I would definitely watch that one again. I was able to come in, ride a ride, and walk around the entire Universal Studios Park in about 40 minutes. Oh, and go into a store. It's a very small park. I find it so weird that the globe's not moving. Why is it not moving? The houses this year are Stranger Things, The Exorcist, The Last of Us, Chucky, and Unmasked. And I heard that the Chucky one was actually a little disappointing from some friends, but you know, I think that Stranger Things was their favorite, possibly. The line for Voodoo Donuts is out the door, and I haven't seen it like that in a long time. Maybe that's because the parks are closing soon, so everybody's leaving, getting their donuts to go. I tried this place called Bend the Bow here at City Walk. It's on the second level. Last time I was here, really good, really good. And it's good if you're like not so hungry. It's like, it's nice little bite-sized pieces, not bite-sized, but like, you know what I mean. I got three bows for about $16 with my discount. This one is a beef brisket. This one is fried shrimp. And then this one is pork belly. 
Now I tried the two on the outside last time. I didn't try the shrimp last time. I got like a veggie one last time and it wasn't my favorite. So that's why I, I switched it out. The shrimp, no good. Pork belly and brisket, good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Shrimp, three out of 10 would not recommend. But Harry Styles is now playing. So the shrimp goes from a three to a 10 out of 10 just because of Mr. Styles. My father so kindly said that he would financially sponsor a treat from Universal, so it had to be Cold Stone. I got the founder's favorite, which is sweet cream ice cream, brownie, caramel, pecans, and fudge. I think that's all. And it's all mixed together. It's so good. I've had this one another time. I'm leaving now. Just remember, you change the world when you change your mind. Bye-bye from Miss American Sky.